We turn now to a comeback story involving a Bakersfield man. Frank Torres discovered cycling at a low point in his life and soon developed a strong passion for the sport that helped him stay sober. 23 ABC's Corey O'Leary shows us for the month of July, Frank has set a cycling goal that he hopes inspires others to follow their dreams. It's almost 6 a.m. here at Beach Park. Most of Bakersfield is just waking up, but Frankie Torres has been awake since 2 a.m. Why? It's part of his mission to ride 100 miles every day in July. He's not just crazy, he's doing this to prove a point, not just to himself, but to others. And he's gonna be here soon. I'm gonna join him for the next leg of his journey. We'll see if we can go back. The first year I failed, first year I wasn't able to do uh, consistently. Torres told me three years ago he challenged himself to see how much he could ride in a month, but wasn't able to achieve what he hoped, but that didn't deter him from trying again. The next following year was like, okay, what can I do here? Can I do 100? You know, I failed, but I, I can come back. I know I can come back. Let's come back bigger. And come back he did. Last year he was able to ride a century on his bike every single day in the month of July. I got COVID day 13. I got COVID and that was rough. I didn't quit. I kept on pushing through. Torres is no stranger to comebacks. He told me he struggled with addiction to both drugs and alcohol in the past. Uh, since I stopped doing drugs and alcohol, I tend to give a new addiction. And so what I did was uh, I knew that I sacrificed a lot to do drugs and alcohol. Why couldn't I do it with cycling? Morning, gentlemen. When he first started cycling, he was given encouragement by a local bike owner named Fernando Gonzalez. He handed me this bike and he told me in three months from now, everybody is going to know who you are. Soon, the cyclists around him crowned him a new title. That's Frankie. That's Frankie. They gave me the name. That's the name they gave me. Now he wants to give others encouragement and inspiration to achieve their goals. Win! You want to win? You got to go! You got to go! I think people would probably think Frank's crazy, but if you get to know Frank, you, you know that his mentality is such that he would just knock it out. And once he puts his mind to it, he's just determined to get it done. He's got an upbeat and magnetic personality. During the ride, he's waving hi to people on the bike trails, even striking up a conversation with a man he's seen multiple times but has never talked to, ending it by saying they should ride together sometime. I'm just a couple miles into the ride and I see why they call him Fast Frankie. He took off like he was shot out of a kitchen, currently struggling to keep up. He's a person who inspires others, uplifts others. He's a person of community, and at heart, he's a mentor. Torres also going on lunch rides with his coworkers, who he introduced to cycling, friends and strangers, both joining him on sections of his daily ride. You're freaking a natural, dude. Like, your body, just the way you're, like, you're leaning like this, that's a straight rider right there. Torres told me he's booked up for the rest of July and that he couldn't do what he does without the support of his wife. I have a real strong wife that is really supportive in, in my riding. And if it wasn't for her to keep pushing me, I wouldn't be here today. Whew. That's something different, huh? Yeah. So I just finished riding about 20 miles with Frankie, just a fraction of what he plans to complete today. And let me tell you, I really do feel inspired and also pretty exhausted. If you want to follow along with Frankie's journey, you can search Fast Frankie on Strava. At Beach Park, Corey O'Leary, 23ABC News, connecting you.